How's it going? This is Matt Copeland. Um, for today's Tech Tuesday at Profile, um, I saw some end mills laying in the machine shop the other day and I had some questions on those. So uh, I went ahead and grabbed uh, Dave Briggs and I'm gonna have him walk us through what those are used for and how they're repurposed. So uh, go ahead and follow me into the machine shop and we'll go through it all. This is Dave. Um, found these end mills laying in the shop the other day, Dave, and I was hoping you could uh, explain to me what they're used for. What? Hi, right, this, uh, this is an end mill. It's like a, a roughing style. You can see all the little uh, teeth, if you will. It's also called a corn cob uh, in some situations. Roughing end mills are meant for taking larger amounts of material off faster. Uh, finish is usually not quite as good, so usually you'll rough in and come with a finish end mill to give a better, a better finish. What we do with this end mill is, this is one of our elite cranks. This will come in and cut and make the circle. So we can make it whatever size we want. On this side, it'll actually just come straight down and make it. It comes up and mills around and mills around. As it wears, the edges of the teeth will start to wear, start to get chips, what have you, so they don't work as well anymore. But as seeing as there's still a lot of end mill left that never gets used, we actually cut them off to shorten them like this. It gets us past all of that, and then we don't use it and we go to do, take a ratchet ring, and this shorter one then goes around the outside. We can't keep it same length because it'll go into the table. So it would almost be stuck in. If this was here, it would be cutting into the table. So we shorten it. Then we can do this. So we end up the difference in size. So in conclusion, you can take one end mill that we buy for doing one job. Normally we would just have to throw it away afterwards, but we'll actually cut it down to this so we double the life. 